I'm using the phaser without input signal, just in feedback mode. Connecting mix out to feedback input. Then I, had, I set it in advance here to find a nice sound I will show you. And then I take the output, this mix output, send it to a mixer so it's easier to control. I don't send it directly to the mixer. Oops, you see why? But I send it to a mixer first. And this, the output of the mixer, I send it to my dough. Up. So, and it sounds like this. So, I, I have enough feedback here. I don't move the settings, but I set it with a nice sound, a sound I like. But I'm going to send a CV, a CV sequence to the CV input of this phase. I'm going to start the CV. I'm going to see. Uh, see sequence. The house nearly, nearly fell down. <laughs> what I'm doing now is uh, uh, blah blah blah. Is taking this output instead of, in, of going directly in the mixer, I go to a ring modulator X input. In the Y uh, Y input, I take the sine wave amp and oscillator, and the output of the ring modulator, I go to the mixing. So it means the same as before, but I'm adding the signal in a ring modulator with a sine wave on the other input. It sounds like this. Frequency of the oscillator. So I could uh, add a VC in between. This was the original signal coming from the ring modulator output. I added a ADSR in between now.
Now I'm adding a filter in between the 12 dB filter, <coughs> low pass, um, VCF1. So this is a signal. I also have the ADSR between the output, so this is without ADSR, with ADSR. So I'm adding both. And, and the mixer output goes to the filter. Yeah, exactly. And the filter goes directly to the output. Yeah, okay.